All right, let's talk some more Bellator, man. This is a great fight. We talked heavyweights a little while ago, and, uh, you know, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a guy I've been waiting for. The return of Vitaly Minikov, who used to be the former Bellator heavyweight champ, and there was some issues there, some contract negotiations, who knows what, but he's back. Bellator re-signed him. Shout out to Scott Coker. He's facing Czech Congo at Bellator 216. Vitaly Minikov comes in at about minus 385. The comeback on Congo is about plus 265. All right, now this is the number three guy in the USA Today Sports slash MMA Junkie rankings. Uh, undefeated fighter uh, who I just felt like, why isn't he fighting at one of the top organizations like Bellator or UFC? Been a damn shame that he hasn't. But he stayed busy even outside of Bellator. Um, Congo, of course, has also stayed busy. And I think he's a little mad, guys. I think he's a little mad that he was excluded out of that Grand Prix. He's kind of been on a roll. He's a veteran of the UFC and now Bellator. And he just doesn't look like he's stopping anytime soon. Keeps himself in good shape. He can go out there, still throw some hard uh, leg kicks, some hard strikes. I think he shed the label a little bit about being a, either a slow starter. I mean, he's come out there and put it on some people. But still, Vitaly Menikov is just a younger version uh, of, of Congo. He's, he's, he hits hard. He's confident. He's been at the top, and I think he knows this is his time to make a statement and actually be something in this sport aside from a former Bellator champion, be one of the best. He's ranked and respected by this media member. I'm taking him. Uh, give me a Vitaly Minikov. How about you, Dan? Man, a, a great case for Minikov, but you know, let's just talk about Congo for a second. I mean, this guy is on a seven-fight winning streak when many people, including myself, have picked against him in a lot of those fights. And if you take away that 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 decision loss, if you will, uh, his last decision loss, you could argue that he's maybe gone. It was a split decision loss, by the way, and he had uh, uh, two more victories uh, before that. Uh, so you could argue that he's almost gone 10 and 0 since initially losing. Again, this is a rematch to to Vitaly Minikov. Uh, but but again, it, it's hard to pick against Minikov, especially uh, just seeing his body of work like George laid out uh, alone. But when I, when I went back to watch that first fight, uh, you know, um, Minikov was able to, to hurt him in, in multiple rounds uh, on the feet. Of course, Minikov in that boxing range, probably more dangerous range for Czech Congo. He's known for his kickboxing, but Czech Congo likes it long range. Czech Congo had trouble taking it long range. And even though Czech Congo's improved his clinch and wrestling, really been stifling guys from there against the cage, right? We've seen that in Bellator making a home for himself. He wasn't able to do that against a guy who's not just a Sambo champion. He's also a judo champ. I mean, Minikov is very crafty. And even when he was taken down in that fight, he used, like, butterfly in steps, was able to create space, used the cage, got back to his feet. Um, so, in my opinion, it, it's almost like we saw him answer some of the problems that, that a lot of guys can't answer against Congo. So, at the risk of Czech Congo, um, you know, uh, ambushing me at a Nordstrom's rack with, like, with a leg kick like he did to Paul Kelly back in the day, not for you hardcores. I'm going to have to go against Congo. Go here. I'm going to go with the Vitaly Minikov as well. All right, how about you guys? Oh man, here's the deal. Like in that first fight, you could just see Congo getting frustrated by the minute. You know, Minikov was really good at that. But there's something about this this streak that he's on. I think he's just got everything dialed in. Check Congo does, where every his attack is very balanced. I think he's got the recipe to make this a hard night for Minikov. And I'm going to go with Check Congo on this one. Taking the upset, huh? Against. Wow. Him. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Well, there you have it. Uh, two to one here.